Hi, my name is Kim, and today we're going to talk about muskrats and beavers. Welcome to McHenry County Conservation District's Wonders of the Wild. The muskrat and the beaver are quite different in size. The muskrat is only about the size of a football or slightly larger. The beaver can get up to 60 pounds. So there's a significant difference in size in those two animals. If you can imagine wintertime with its cold and ice and snow, it's a very difficult time for animals to survive. But think about how much more difficult it would be for animals that are also aquatic or living in the water. Both muskrats and beavers stay active in the winter, even though they're swimming around in water temperatures that are just barely above freezing. The way they're able to do this is through several different adaptations. One of them is that they have um, a circulatory system and then the, with the beaver their huge flat tail helps with this but their circulatory system is much better than our own. It's uh, called counter circulation and it actually takes cold blood and warms it back up as it's going through the body sending warm blood back to the heart and then the heart pumping out warm blood so that the animal can stay warm. Other adaptations are that they have fur, which is very nice and thick, but they also waterproof it. They have glands that they use their claws and they groom themselves often and they create a waterproof coating on their fur. It's this truly thick and dense fur that was so popular back in the fur trade and beavers uh, were almost completely wiped out from Illinois rivers because of it. Other adaptations that they have is they have the ability to swim underwater without actually opening their eyes. They have a third clear eyelid. They're able to close their ears with an ear flap and their nose with a nose flap. Beavers even have their front teeth extending through their lip so they don't have to open their mouth when they're chewing either. So all of these things help them to live in that aquatic environment and even more so in that cold aquatic environment. The other thing that they do is that they build homes that are warm. So the beaver's home is called a lodge, so is the muskrats, but they're gonna be made of different things and much different sizes since the two animals are very different sized. The muskrat makes its lodge out of cattails and mud. And it's a small mound, anywhere from two to five feet high. And the muskrat enters from underneath. And inside the mound, it stays above freezing. So it can go in there to stay warm even in the wintertime. The same is true for the beaver, but the beaver's mound is eight to 10 feet high and it's made of sticks and mud. And because it stays warmer than freezing inside the lodge, they have that open waterway to swim out under the ice and um, into their aquatic habitat. The beavers are known for their dams, and often we have people calling their homes dams, but as I said, it's called the lodge. A dam is instead literally the dam that they build across a river. And the reason they do that is beavers need aquatic environments, but they also need trees nearby. And when they've cleared the trees from the nearby uh, area that they have, they need to flood the area to get access to more trees. And so they dam a portion of the river that ends up creating more wetland area and gives them the habitat that they need. Some people would consider this to be damage to the environment and if it's a river that you're trying to get through on a canoe or a kayak, well, yes, it's an inconvenience because there's a dam there, but the beaver is actually known to help improve the environment by creating these different types of wetlands. 
thanks for watching. And don't forget to respect the plants and animals in your local conservation areas and catch us next time on McHenry County Conservation District's Wonders of the Wild.